Hey there, I am Lisa the Love Coach and I am bringing you yet another video on the top 20 greatest questions to ask on a date. I already gave you one through five, this is six through 10. Let's dig in. And be sure to comment below, be sure to like this video, be sure to subscribe and the next videos will be showing up right here. So you're gonna be able to see all 20 great questions to ask on a date. All right, let's roll. Coming in at number six, do you have any allergies? <coughs> you ever hang out with somebody who has allergies or like maybe you're allergic to something and you forgot to mention Oh, you have a cat, I'm allergic to cats. Oh, you have dogs, I'm allergic to dogs. Oh my God, did you just make something and I ate it and there's a peanut in it? <laughs> you need to ask, hey, do you have any allergies? And if you have allergies, you might wanna volunteer that information. So that is definitely a good question to ask on a date. So here we go, number seven. What inspired you to do what you do for a living? It's a nice way to ask about their job, about their work. So tell me, what inspired you to be a marine biologist? So tell me, what inspired you to be an accountant? Tell me, what inspired you to be a plumber? What inspired you to be an architect. You see what I'm saying? You gotta be like, what do you, oh, that sounds fascinating. They're gonna reveal what they do. If you looked at my video from numbers one through five, by this point, you already know what they do for a living, right? If you're following the method of dating with purpose, my program that helps people, you will get to the nitty gritty of what it is that you wanna know so that you can date with purpose and intention. Number eight, what would you do with your free time if money didn't matter? What would you do for free if money didn't matter at all? You would wake up and do what? This question is awesome to ask on a date. First of all, it puts people in that like lottery winner fantasy land, which is always a fun high vibe conversation. And if it's like, whoa, money doesn't matter, what would I do? Like I would wake up and take a dart and throw it at the world map and go, provided it was in countries that were safe. We don't wanna go anywhere crazy. But you know what I mean, travel or whatever their thing is, maybe they would want to, do charity work, whatever. You're gonna tell a lot about a person when you ask them the question, what would you do for free if money didn't matter anymore? Question number nine. Great questions to ask on a date. Number six through 10. I already did one through five. You can click over here, see the videos on that. I'm gonna give it to you in chunks so you can easily digest. Number nine. So I have a question for you. What really, really pissed you off recently? And how did you deal with it? What really pissed you off recently? And how did you deal with it? I love this question because it shows you how they solve problems, deal with conflict, and what they take seriously as a real piss off thing and what they kind of shrug off like no big deal. It'll also tell you their rebound time of how long they linger in being pissed off. So for example, you know, we all have different ways of handling anger and this is a good question. So like if I was asked this question, what was something that really pissed me off? Oh, I, um, I, I was on Facebook and I saw somebody post something about um, politics that like rubbed me so wrong and I was like really triggered by it. It pissed me off. And uh, how did I handle it? Oh, I just kind of kept scrolling. I don't really give in to any of that BS, but it really pissed me off because it was like kind of like whatever, but I kept scrolling. So I'm showing what triggered me and how I dealt with it. 
See, it could have been traffic. Oh, it really pissed me off. On my way to this date, somebody took my parking space. I was so pissed. I had the blinker on, I'm ready to go. And this other person scooched right in in front of me. Didn't even care. People are so inconsiderate, pissed me off. But then what I did was I went around, I gave her the stink eye, I turned the corner and I found a better parking space. So all is well and now I made it here. It shows you how you rebound, right? And it also, when you ask that question, what to listen for is exactly that. How long does this person linger in the complain negativity, beat the drum of victim, blah, blah, or do they say, yeah, this thing really pissed me off and bam, I rebounded and I was fine two seconds later. So that's a good question to ask on a date. And now number 10, again, I did one through five. This is six through 10 and for the full list, you can just blow past this, go to lovequestcoaching.com, click on the blog and you get all 20. You can print them out, keep them on your phone and refer to them on a date. Huh? So number 10, when was the last time you spent money on something that you regretted? Oh my God. I love this question too, because we all do this, right? We all buy something and then later we're like, why did I buy this? Oh my God, I had the same thing already at home or I could have gotten it on sale or I should have waited. I didn't really need it then, but I couldn't resist and I bought it and then I regretted it. So that's always a cool conversation and it could end up being something like a house. It could be something simple like a pair of pants that you have in the closet and never wear, a vacation that you purchased that you hated it the second you got there because maybe the weather was sucky and the people were sucky and whatever, but it gives you a good way of getting to know this person and giving them some safety zone, some space where they're free to express something that they bought that they really regretted. And it shows you a lot about how they manage money, how they respect money, how they think about what they purchase. So it's a good kind of easy way of question to make them feel comfortable, to make them human and acceptable that we all do it. We all buy crap that we don't need, want, and for whatever reason we get sucked in and we buy something and then we later regret it. So that's it, six through 10. Hope you like these questions. Again, if you want the full list, keep it on your phone. Next time you go on a date, you could even use these if you're in a couple. I threw some of these at Mr. S. He, we and I were cracking up laughing answering some of these questions. And they were also very telling and we've been together three years. So feel free to use these questions also if you're in a relationship, they work just the same. You can find me at lovequestcoaching.com, at Lisa the Love Coach on Instagram, or right here on the YouTube. Comment below, and also click over here for the next video. And I look forward to catching up with you again soon. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.